Okay, no job number yet, but this is Madison Sammamish Apartments 2020. Uh, we're looking at a small amount of asphalt repair, crack fill, seal coat, striping, and then uh, also there's some curb repair. Uh, I bid this job last year to Robert Henry, and uh, all the bids came in, apples to oranges. So they only invited a select amount of people to rebid this year, and we were one of them. And they made the job more specific, so that way we could do apples to apples on the bidding. Okay, so um, this property is, let me try to find the map here. It's a pretty large property. You come in, the entrance, you can go all the way back into here. This is all area for seal coating. All of this is seal coating. Uh, this is highlighted in the phases that they'd like to do the seal coating. So as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five different phases for seal coating. Okay, so I wanted to point that out first. Uh, there's a lot of cars in here. There's carports. Uh, there's going to be probably uh, some power washing and all that. And I'll get to that here in a second. But I wanted to show you this map. All right, main office is right up here by the pool. Okay, so uh, they want to do this work in April or May, if possible. So that means we could be doing the asphalt repairs and the small amount of curb repairs as early as next month, possibly. And then when the weather gets better, we'll do the striping and seal coating and crack filling. Uh, I would imagine uh, we would probably end up splitting this contract if we could do the work right away. We'll probably do the asphalt work first in the concrete curbing. And then we'll split off the crack field seal coat and stripe. All right. So we are bidding against other people, but we are at least in the second round here of bidding this job. So I'm going to open up the bid requirements here. Um, so they reduced the amount of asphalt compared to what I looked at last year. Uh, but let's go through the easier topics first. Okay. So let's... Um, Check this off as we go. Crack seal. Estimated 4,000 lineal feet of individual cracks not associated with repair areas. As set forth in reference B. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what these different uh, photos look like. Um, let's see, where was it? Okay, so crack fill, they're seen as referenced in B. You're going to, throughout the property, there's areas that we'll be able to do. Some of these are cracks inside of the tree root damage, but I will make it known to them that we won't be able to do the alligator areas and we won't be able to do some of these tree root areas if they're too wide. Here's some areas that I'll have to explain to them. We only can do the, the main long line cracks, but not the alligator cracking. We can do this stuff right in here. Uh, but there's 4,000 feet allotted in here, so we want to make sure we do a good job covering up a lot of the long lines. Okay? So that's that on that portion. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to talk about the seal coat. 165,000 square feet of seal coat. They want two coats. It says four to five mobilizations. I showed you that map that had five mobilizations on there based on the color coding. So they want to do it in five five phases. Um, and then uh, it says pressure wash and hand scrape all painted extruded curbing prior to repainting at the entry drive lanes. I'm going to say we put in... Um, and it's only the painted curb. But I would say let's probably plug in at least a long day of power washing. Uh, we might even put in two days of power washing. Let's put in two days of power washing because it's a pretty big complex. And there's, there's some moss at some of the sidewalk areas. Okay. Um, striping. Let's see here. Striping and curb painting in all stall lines as existing miscellaneous lines. So, um, 
I have all the stall striping in here. It says there's 372 spaces and 22 ADAs. So when you go to job, if you go to job 21577, you'll have all the striping quantities in there. One thing to make note of, uh, though, is just to make sure that I accounted for 20 ADA spaces, which is, that's a lot. And uh, 372 parking stalls. I don't think I realized there was 20 ADA spaces in here. That's, that's just, that's a lot. But uh, let's just use their number. Okay, um, the addition of two new curbs measuring approximately 24 to 32 feet as set forth in reference pictures G. The curb locations are kind of tough. They sent pictures that I can go and look at, but, you know, it's not easy to, it's not easy to follow. So, for instance, uh, let's put in new curbing let's say 32 lineal feet of curbing six by eight inch reference g okay well i've got photos in here for referencing g and i could go around and try to find this location here but for now i'm not going to um, if we get this job then i'll come out and mark the locations okay so please plug in 32 lineal feet of six by eight extruded curb new new curbing okay and then um there is let's see up here on d repair and replace damaged curbs approximately 120 lineal feet as set forth in reference pictures d so as it shows right now i'm only looking at one two three four five six locations for that 120 feet so we don't have to mark it on an aerial map right now we just need to assume 120 feet of r and r six by eight inch curb in six different locations the asphalt which is the last part of this proposal is to remove and replace asphalt in three to five locations this should be approximately 40 to 50 square feet well i went around to all the locations and it looks like it's going to be at least 50 square feet to replace says to reference pictures A. So pictures A, it says to uh, fix these two potholes by the G, H, and J dumpster. That is right here at the corner. So from the entrance, you come back, you go to the G, H, and J dumpster. Okay, then it also references two other locations by building J. So I'm going to show you what those look like real quick. Okay, so I'm at the dumpster right in front of J, and then you got H, and you got G. So this is one of the potholes to repair right here. Uh, in order to stay within the 50 square feet, we're going to have to do these rather small. So we'll probably have to do like a, a two by two repair right here, and then over here, do another two by two repair. Keep that around four square feet on each one. Okay, or even a a two by three if we had to that'd be six square feet and six square feet so we're like anywhere between uh eight to twelve square feet and then in front of jay we've got in this parking stall here right in front of jay i'm going to show you kind of the surrounding area here all right in front of jay both sides of the island <coughs> we've got a repair right behind the curbing big tree root going on right in here okay so we'll just go one foot you know by like five foot here one by five and then over on this side same thing you've got what looks like about another it's like six feet so one by six and then a one by five over there um, after we do that little repair this little curbing might be part of that 120 feet of six by eight inch curbing that we would have to fix. Um, so keep that in mind. So that area, that area, those are the only areas on the south portion of the property. The other repairs are all the way around from the entrance. If you go left and all the way around to the back, it's back there. And I'm going to go show you. So these two repairs I first showed you by the dumpster. It's be right on this corner, so we'll have to block off 
this little section here will probably take up this space right here you know when we're going coming in to do the repair this is like hot patcher repair so i don't need a lot of equipment in here probably do a lot of this by hand and use the hot patcher could potentially use that stall over there but we'll basically be blocking off this corner right here and in front of the dumpster area okay another one of the repairs is picture number three that he gave me there's some tree root damage right here i'm gonna show you that so i just came from the north side of the property and I'm back here by r building r okay so we could just pull right in here and stage right in this location and do this repair right here, right in front of building R. You got tree root damage in here. So you're looking at about a four by three right here to take out this tree root damage. Okay, and that's it at R. And then if you keep going back to the back of the property, you'll wait to the last two repairs. The last repair is right here at this little water I main lid by the WXY carport. It is right here, right here, the very back of the property. We have to fix that little area right there. And that's really just about a, it's about a one by four, one by five. So <clears throat> it keeps us within the 50 square feet. So that should do it for this whole property. Um, <clears throat> so you're looking at two days of power washing, five days of seal coating, um, probably, um, uh, We'll seal. We'll do the striping probably same day as we do the phasing um, on the seal coating, so that way we can get it all done while it's closed down. So we'll include the striping in each phase of the seal coating. The curbing will be one day. The asphalt will be one day. Okay, and it'll be with a hot patcher on the asphalt work. Curb works really small. So uh, hopefully we get this job. We'll be competitive, and uh, we're competing against some other contractor or some other. Uh, asphalt companies so well striping companies for all i know all right any other questions let me know thank you